Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're not familiar with this channel, my name is Zach. I'm a brand strategist, photographer, and videographer. I've been managing brands for the past 10 to 12 years, and I also manage a team of other designers, videographers, and photographers, all within the context of building those brands. I created this channel in order to help people to more effectively build their brands, or maybe you're in marketing, maybe you're in branding, and it's your job to facilitate all of the processes therein. I'm also trying to reach you to help you do your jobs more effectively. The purpose of this video is we are finally going to get into brand strategy and why it's so important to have a solid brand strategy so that you can build a brand on behalf of a business, organization, or individual. So there's a couple different things that we'll cover here. We won't go too deep into any one of them right now. This video is just designed to tell you what brand strategy is and why it's important and how it helps your business. And then in future videos, we'll break down every single piece of brand strategy and I'm gonna show you how to actually go through every step to figure out all of the details that you need to execute a solid brand strategy. So, what is brand strategy? It's nothing more than a roadmap for your business to build its brand. This is not a one week plan, it's not a two week plan. This is the overarching plan to build your, to build your brand for the foreseeable future. So in brand strategy, you go through, I would say four to five different phases depending on how you wanna do it. Phase one is you're figuring out your purpose, mission, vision, and goals. Phase two, you're defining your brand's personality and also creating personas for the people you wanna reach. Phase three is you're figuring out who your target audience is and then you're going to research them and with that research knowledge and knowledge of who your target audience is, you will form your positioning statement, which is nothing more than what you do and who you do it for. That's what a positioning statement is. From there, you'll move on to the next phase, which is gap analysis. This is phase four. Gap analysis, all you're doing is you're analyzing gaps that, uh, are currently left open that you could potentially solve for your customer. So those can be separated into market gaps, opportunity gaps, and brand gaps. And those are just ways where you can step in as a business to solve problems for your customer. Think of gap analysis like this. Over here is where your brand wants to be, and over here is where your customer is and in between them and your business is a gap. So we're trying to figure out what those gaps are so that we can figure out how to solve problems for your target audience. And that knowledge is valuable so that you know what their problems are to determine if you can even solve them in the first place. And then phase five is just creating the overarching roadmap with all that information which will inform every step you take as a business moving forward. And I'm gonna tell you how it informs your business moving forward, or organization, or individual brand. Once you figure out your purpose, vision, and mission, those things, those elements of your brand, they inform how you create your origin story and tell it over and over again which is so important in today's market because you'll find that people are buying from like massive corporations less and less because they feel like their money isn't really going to anything of purpose or of value. Uh, Simon Sinek said it like this, people do not buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And that's why it's so important to be able to tell your origin story to anyone who wants to potentially do business with you. Next. Your brand personality and personas of your users, which is phase two of brand strategy, helps you to get the information that you need to create a brand identity. So what is a brand identity? A brand identity is, think your logos, your secondary logos, your marks, your uh, the colors that represent your business organization, 
the typography that you use as a business or organization, all of these things relate to your brand's identity, the way that you design things, the way that you take photos, the way that you create videos, uh, the way that you speak in those videos. This is all part of your brand identity. And your brand's identity is informed by your brand's personality and the user personas of the people that you're trying to reach, right? It's like when you're moving into a relationship, you already know who you are. You're not like wondering who you are when you're looking for a relationship. The first step before you get into a relationship, like in real life with like your partner is you have to know who you are first. I'm sure that those in early stages of their life, they know, hey, when I don't know who I am, my relationships really don't work that well. And so once you understand your brand personality, and you've created personas of your users, you have a better idea of the information that you need to build a brand identity that is going to serve you well moving forward. Next is positioning. So we talked about that uh, earlier when we were talking about phase three of brand strategy, which is target audience and research and personas. So positioning, it's nothing more than this. It's who you do, it's who you do, it's what you do and who you do it for, which is very important to understand before you start messaging and branding. So messaging and branding are kind of the same word. It's the ongoing process of communicating with your target audience. So think about when you're posting something on social media or you're creating your website, you're creating business cards, flyers, pretty much anything with your brand on it that is being used to communicate with your audience is messaging. And the way that you message has a lot to do with what you do and who you do it for. When you're designing something that is intended to communicate with your target audience, if it's not consistent with what you do, throw it out. And if it's not consistent with who you're actually trying to reach, throw it out. Both of those things have to be checked off before anything comes out of your business into the world. And that's why it's so important to know your positioning statement. And then lastly is your gap analysis. We talked about that in phase four of brand strategy, which is basically just understanding the gaps that you can solve as a business. And it's important to know this because you have already isolated who your customer is and in research, you understand what their problems are and then you can formulate how you can solve those problems if you can. And that is important for marketing communication. So marketing and sales are kind of the same thing and sales and marketing are essentially just the facilitation of a customer to become a customer or from a person to become a customer. By the time a customer comes in the door to talk to you, it doesn't matter if you're a restaurant or if you're a marketing agency, you already want them to know that you know what their problem is and that you can solve it, which is why this is so important to understand that being gap analysis in creating successful marketing communication from your business. So just to recap, your purpose, vision, and mission go into creating your origin story. Your brand personality and personas go into creating your brand identity. Your positioning and your target audience slash research goes into creating your branding and your messaging. And your gap analysis goes into creating marketing communication. So I hope after explaining all of the phases of brand strategy, what they teach you and how they inform everything moving forward. I hope that that shows you how important it is to have a solid brand strategy in place if you hope to build a successful business or organization. My dad always used to tell me, like if I was walking around the house like mopey or if I was like kind of lazy, he would tell me, hey, quit walking around like an accident. And that has stuck with me my entire life because it showed me that unless I'm intentional about doing the things that I say I'm going to do, they're never gonna happen. I know that 
a lot of people start out in business and they just want it to work and they just want to build a successful brand, a successful business, and they think it's going to just happen. But the reality is that everyone who's actually done it has done it very systematically. And this is one of those systems that can help you, at least on the brand side, to build a solid brand. So I hope this has all helped to describe what we're going to be doing in the next few videos. Uh, the next video that I will release as far as brand strategy goes will be showing you how to figure out your purpose, vision, mission, and business goals. Uh, and then I'll also likely work on some other videos from different topics and put those into other playlists on my channel as it relates to like editing in DaVinci Resolve or editing photos in Lightroom, things like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, my name is Zach. If you have any questions or you need clarification on anything that we went through below or anything that we went through in this video, please don't hesitate to leave a comment on this video and I would be happy to answer it. It doesn't matter how complex it is or how long it is, I will read your comments and if I can answer it or at least provide some insight, I would be happy to do that. Uh, that's it for this video and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.